There's no alarm that goes off when it's time to refactor your code, but there are indicators that you should be mindful of that will tell you it might be time for some refactoring. Let's see some of the indicators and opportunities when you can do some refactoring. If you find yourself writing similar codes multiple times, it might be a good time for a refactor. There is a principle in software development named DRY, short for don't repeat yourself. It suggests replacing any repetitive information that is likely to change with abstractions that are less likely to change. The principle states that every piece of knowledge, and you should read implementation or feature or logic, must have a single, unambiguous, authoritative representation within a system. On the other hand, it doesn't mean that you should abstract everything that might be repeatable in order to keep it as a single representation. Be aware that abstraction is not a silver bullet, but a double-edged sword. Too much abstraction will also make your code confusing and vague, thus making it harder to maintain. These two can produce code smells, which is the exact opposite of what you wanted in the first place. As you can see, you need to find a good balance when abstracting code. There's an article by Kent C. Dodds that explains a good middle ground between duplicating and abstracting. He calls it AHA programming. AHA stands for Avoid Hasty Abstractions. The article summed up in one sentence is, don't be afraid to duplicate code until the similarities scream at you, then you would abstract them. Another good indicator is if you have multiple or repetitive bugs in the same domain within the code base. This means that most likely the code within that domain is of low quality, so refactoring it would definitely be a good idea. Using a service like Sentry will help you in figuring out if there are clusters of bugs around the same domain within the code base. Here's another indicator. If you're adding a new feature and you notice that the code you're interfacing with is someone else's dirty code, well then refactoring it will of course clean it up so it'll be easier to work with, but it'll also help you understand that part of the code better. Same goes when fixing bugs as well. When you find a bug, you're actually refactoring old faulty code. You could just patch it up and call it a day, or you could go the extra mile and do a bigger cleanup around the parts where the bug occurred. Another opportunity to do some refactoring is during code reviews. This is your last chance to clean up the code before it actually goes to the main branch and becomes technical debt over time. Take the time to understand the PR, and if it's not yours, point out the refactoring opportunities and even leave a few suggestions.